A very long time ago, a wealthy man in France went out to dinner. And he would always go out to dinner, but his tie would fall in his soup or his supper. So one night, he took a pin out of his hat, pulled up his tie, and inserted the pin in a 45 degree angle. And this was the origin of the tie bar. Much like cufflinks, tie bars speak volumes about one's personal style, but they are also one of the most functional of male accessories. Tie bars and tie clips hold a man's tie in place. What's going on? This is Richard from A Man About Style, and today we are gonna tell you everything that you need to know about the tie bar. So what is a tie bar? Introduced in the Victorian era, pins were used to secure your tie from flapping in the wind or ending up in your dinner. As time progressed, you no longer had to put holes in your ties, as spring-loaded tie bars and slide bars are now the most common. So that begs the question, should you get a tie bar or a tie bar slide? Personally, I always reach for the clasp bar, since a tie bar with a hinge and clasp tend to be more secure. Slide bars also have a tendency to bend or slip when wearing. Either way, it's a personal preference. So now that we've figured out which tie bar to choose, how do you wear a tie bar? The tie bar should hold your tie to the planket stripe on your shirt. As far as placement goes, it is generally accepted to be placed anywhere between the third and the fourth button. The sweet spot can be argued that you should place a tie bar directly underneath the third button. Stylistically, it looks good, and functionally, this is the most practical place to hold the tie. Now, when placing a tie bar, place it at a 90 degree angle or at a 45 degree angle. Either way is fashionably acceptable. Now, when it comes to width, tie bars range from a half inch to three inches. If you are wearing a skinnier tie, grab a tie bar that is a half inch to a inch and a half. For your wider ties, grab a tie bar that is a inch and a half to three inches. In no circumstances should you ever have a tie bar that is fully extended across the tie. Aim for a tie bar that is three-fourths of the way across the tie. If you plan on wearing a third layer, make sure you position the tie bar so that it is visible. This is definitely important if you plan on buttoning your outer layer. Now that you know how to wear a tie bar, what tie bar material should you choose? Silver is your go-to and the most versatile. Gold being a close second. Remember, Gold pairs well with dark solids. Due to the popularity, it does come in a variety of shades of metal. As colors get bolder, their ability to thoughtlessly complement an outfit decreases. There is a time and place for novelty tie bars. Consider the accessories that you are wearing, as your tie bar should complement these colors as well. Speaking of colors, how should you match your ties and tie bars? The only rule that you should consider is that clasps can ruin knit ties, so it is better to use a slide when possible. Lastly, what if you don't like tie bars? Well, lucky for you, tie pins are still around if you don't mind putting a hole in your tie. Or you can try a chain that attaches to your shirt button. It really just comes down to preference. And that's your ultimate guide to the tie bar. So, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon.